my name is Luis Castaño with IAC's Tip of the Month. This time we want to talk about the importance of differential pressure, which is a subject that we have discussed before and everybody talks about it and even knows it. But we run also into situations where a ventilation system is addressing uh, toxic dusts. And so on those systems, we don't just need the bag house with membrane filters. There's also a secondary filter, which is a HEPA filter, a high efficiency filtration, so that we never exhaust emissions into the atmosphere. So the HEPA filter becomes part of the system, and it is very important to keep an eye on the HEPA filter with, uh, with differential pressure. This is the main differential pressure that we've discussed before on the bag house, which tells us if the bag house is in good shape. But we also want to monitor nearby the differential pressure on the HEPA filter because that will tell us if, uh, if the HEPA filter is in good shape. If differential pressure on the HEPA filter is anywhere beyond two inches, it's telling us that it's building up dusts. And if it builds up dust, then we have a problem on the bag house, even if the differential pressure on the bag house is acceptable. So just be aware that monitoring differential pressure on the HEPA filter is just as important as a warning to a potential problem on the bag house. Both of them need to be monitored and we always recommend to have them accessible at ground level for easy monitoring. And four to five inches on the bag house is, is a good number. On the HEPA filter, it's always less than two inches of water column. If you have any questions or would, you would like to discuss this in more detail, please don't hesitate to talk to one of IAC's engineers. Thank